I'm Bambi Francisco, and I'm speaking with Jeff Clavier. He's one of the top angel investors in Silicon Valley. Jeff has invested in 70 companies. He's had $300 million in exits, and one big exit was in 2009, where one of his portfolio companies, Mint, was sold to Intuit for $170 million. So 2009, despite the recession, was a good year for Jeff. And uh, I'm glad that you're here with me, Jeff. Thank, Thank you so much for having me, Bimmy. So you said in your blog post that you're excited about 2010. I am. E even though 2009 turned out to be a pretty active year for you, 21 investments. So are you excited about your investments in the companies and their future? Or are you excited about investing more? Uh, both, essentially. Um, 2009 was really interesting. We started very slow. Everyone was sort of concerned about the end of good times, the, the Sequoia thing, where you know, we started cutting back on expenses and, and making sure companies would survive what we thought might be a nuclear winter, like the 2001 nuclear winter. And, and clearly, entrepreneurship you know, didn't stop. There was a lot of very interesting opportunities sort of popping up here and there. And you know, when you're an investor, active investors like I am, you basically invest whenever there's something interesting showing at your doorstep. And gradually through the year, things really started picking up. And you know, June, July, September, October, the, the last quarter was extremely busy. I think I closed something like eight investments um, in the last quarter. And the thing which we noticed is that M&A were back. Mm -hmm. Intuit was, was obviously a, a big acquirer for us, Mint. But you know, Google acquired you know, um, AdMob, and we saw like a couple of billion dollars worth of M&A is happening in, uh, in the last quarter of the year, which definitely looks pretty good for 2010, I think. Well, yeah, that, that liquidity, those liquidity events definitely give you a sigh of relief because you know that there's an exit in sight for your investments. Yep. Now, what are you, you did 21 last year, mm -hmm. you said what, 15, 17? 17 new investments and four follow-ons, so companies which I had already invested in 2008 and I put more money in 2009. What do you think 2010 is going to look like? Considering well, 2009 was a recession, so we're going to be yeah, you know. 30 <laughs> investments this year? No, I think I, I tend to respond more to the opportunities than trying to have a set number of, sure. of, of investments I'm trying to. I, I would say, you know, in the 20-ish. Okay. Most so likely. we have, you know, more than 20,000 entrepreneurs on the site, mm -hmm. members on the site. So I, all of them, I'm sure, wondering what are you interested in investing and what, what excites you? So first and foremost, um, let's set the scene. I do consumer internet investments. I do seed investments. So typically, I will put in, you know, 100 to $500,000 as part of um, the first round of financing of those companies, which will go anywhere from 500 to a million five. And um, I'm happy to lead or happy to follow other investors. I always Meaning you would go up to a million five, or is that part the of the round will be okay. up to a million five, and I will do a portion of it because I always, always, always syndicate. That's sort of my big motto. I always sort of work with other uh, investors who are either the pure angel investors putting in their own money or other seed firms, you mm -hmm. know, First Round Capital, Maples Investment, True Ventures, uh, with whom I've done, you know, tons of deals over the past six years. And we work extremely efficiently in putting those syndicates together. Mm -hmm. And then in terms of just the valuation, the, the, the pre-money valuation, the question. At the, that's the question. A lot of entrepreneurs aren't you know, familiar. Some of them know, mm -hmm. of course, but um, especially the seasoned ones. But um, at this time, you know, it's probably better than last year. So what are we, what are we looking at in terms of the, the You know, it's, 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 a, it's always a tricky question to answer because it mm -hmm. really depends on the opportunity, the track yeah. record of the team, and so on and so forth. But I will say this. Um, we look at an initial dilution, so the, the percentage of ownership that we'll take in this initial round to be anywhere from, you know, 20 to 30 percent. Mm -hmm. So if you look at, let's say, a, um, a million dollar investment, uh, that will come out in, at 2.5 to 3 million dollar pre-money, mm -hmm. um, which is sort of the most standard. but. It depends. It depends on the opportunity. It depends on, on so the So with a company so like forth. Mint, did you take 20% with your, with your rent, or is that something where it's like, I, okay, you know, I just I want, want in? <laughs> uh, Mint's initial seed valuation, so we closed the Mint round back in September 2006, was just a fair valuation. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. Okay, you didn't talk about the sectors that you're interested mm -hmm. in, though. So, so sectors, so consumer internet at large, right, it. is sort of my focus. Um, 
I'm quite eclectic across, you know, the spectrum of um, consumer internet companies. I spend a lot of time in, in a few areas like gaming. I'm, I'm big, on, big on gaming. I've done a total of maybe 10 deals in gaming, uh, looking at, you know, some social gaming opportunities, um, some payment opportunities in the space. Um, I've done quite a bit in search. Um, you know, this year I've done uh, Bleco, Milo, Bitly, you know, over the past 18 months because a couple of were um, 2008 deals, but I'm pretty, uh, pretty excited about that space. And I've done a ton of, you know, those consumer B2C, B2B services, um, things like Foodsy, things like um, retail technology, which was announced a couple, of, a couple of months ago, where you really leverage, you know, the platform, the consumer, everything that Web2 has taught us for a vertical community that you try and serve. Okay, so you like vertical communities. You yes, talked about I do. that Invader Box too. So yes. it's sort of a focus. So that's good. What are the sa what are what's what's saturated? Video, video responses. Video. Well, <laughs> your reply companies. You know, there's uh, we see a lot of Me Too companies trying to build um, specific features on top of you know Facebook or Twitter. So you see a lot of um, yes, Twitter video, Twitter photo. Uh, that tend to address a very specific requirement uh, and are uh, difficult to uh, differentiate from the 10 others which I see, you know, mm -hmm. coming to my office. Um, the, um, you know, aggregation of news and tweets and showing you who you should follow on Twitter is kind of um, getting old. Mm -hmm. uh, we try and figure out whether people who come through our door of have big ideas and you can really take what they have as an initial concept and, and sort of scale it and, and mm -hmm. unbox it because sometimes they tend to sort of limit themselves and um, that's really sort of the, the scalability is one of the, of the factors I will, um, I will consider. Really for me it's three things, people, product and market and people is really sort of the most important but I do tend to look at the other two, um, two components. Okay. Well, Jeff, when next, uh, next interview we're going to talk about the overall industry or mm -hmm. outlook for the exit market. Um, and um, and also it's looking better. Uh, it's a hint. It's looking, looking better. better. That's that's good to know. So good way to start the year. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you. I've been speaking with Jeff Clavier on Bambi Francisco.